Hey, 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 beautiful souls. Hello, gods, kings, and queens out there. How are your Sunday afternoons going? It is absolutely beautiful where I am. And I had to pull over for a minute because I'm taking a little ride. But I had to pull over for a minute because um, my seatbelt may go off. And my grandmother should see this video and be like, baby baby put your seatbelt on okay you gotta be careful and I don't like doing the videos with my seatbelt on okay so look I was just thinking about some things like how every second of your life it counts it is up to us to just grasp and jump into it and make sure that we're living in every second of our lives like living in the beauty of it right so this thing called fear this thing called fear. That's a that's a that joke. I'm not giving it credit because I'm not gonna claim it. But fear is a woo, it's a monster. It will absolutely run your life and have you missing out on opportunities, situations, things. I mean, it will have you miss those things. Cause look, it's funny, right? Here's the funny thing. It's funny and it's not funny because this is sarcastic for me. It's funny because people will pray, God, please let me get this job. God, please um, let, let me, I want to, you know, open up a business. God, I want to be in this relationship and get married to this type of woman or this type of man, right? So, you know, in situations like that, you ask God for something, and this is going to be the short version of it, but you ask God for something, but because of traumatic experiences or past experiences in situations of applying for the job they rejected me situations where your feelings or you've been emotionally hurt you know what I'm saying traumatic to you you know what I'm saying so you find yourself oh no I'm not gonna try that again because then when God opened up that door his timing not yours when God opens up that door of opportunity for you and then it's time for you to walk in it but now you're like, oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, because this seems too good to be true. Like, wait a minute, it's not happening now. Yes, it's happening now. And you got to realize it. Then when you ask God for something, you got to be ready for it. Because his timing, I keep trying to tell people this, his timing is not your timing. Because see, then when he bring it to you, now you in your own mind. It's called subconscious mind. You know why it's called subconscious? Let me give it to the to the, the Ebonic status. You know how you have a sub substitute teacher or you used to have a substitute, a substitute teacher in high school or school or whatever grade that may have been? They're a sub teacher because they're not actually the real teacher. You know what I mean? They're subbing. No disrespect to the teachers out there. I appreciate all of you, all for all you educators. But they're not the main one that was hired for that position. They're coming to just fill in, so they're not going to give you all in all. So it's the same thing with your mind. Your subconscious mind is not giving you the reality or giving you everything that your mind is, you know, just so, supposed to be set to believe. But if you're at a point in your life where your subconscious mind is designing all of these, it done, it done made up the whole story of how things go and causing you, oh, I'm not going to do it, I'm going to back up because I'm scared. Or no, I don't want to do this because I don't want to feel that again. When you ask God for something, mind you, whatever you ask God for in terms of the situation, whatever, he may have to move some people and some things around or allow some things that the person, like say in the person, he may have had to have them go through, experience some stuff. So when they come to you, they can be the person that you need in order to push you. So they can be that, you know, just give their best selves or give all they got to be able to serve you. Whether it's a woman, you know, serving as, as a queen to her king or whether it's a king serving as the king to her, to his queen. You know what I mean? Or in a job position. Like he got to, he may have to move some people out that's really not deserving of that position that you wanted. So you got rejected from the other one. So now he, as he tell you, Ooh, look, I'm, I'm going to put you in this position and make this, you know what I'm saying? This is what you asked for. So I'm going to do it because I said, I'll grant you the desires of your heart. So I'm going to do it. He said, trust him. And now he puts you in a position. You're like, Oh, wait a minute. I'm not going to apply again. I'm not going to try again. Oh, I'm going to be a little hesitant, but do yourself a favor. The more you're hesitant, 
the more you are missing out. I'm not going to say might be. The more you are missing out on the one opportunity or the chance of a lifetime that can change your life for the rest of your life to be the best of your life. You know what I mean? Stop stop entertaining fear. To all of my all of my people out there that view this, please stop entertaining fear. Guess what? I was talking to myself too. I had to think about that thing like stuff. What are you giving to others? What are you giving not only to others that you're not giving yourself? I'll give others love, but I wasn't giving it to myself. I'll give others like how it showed them how worthy they are, but it wasn't showing me how worthy I am. What God has for me is for me, and it's not going to be taken away from any fear or traumatic experiences that I've experienced. I didn't experience guns to my head. I didn't, I mean, I didn't experience some things, okay? Date, rape, all that kind of stuff. I have experienced it. Some of it's going to be new to you all, even hearing this, especially my family. But that's why the book got to come out. I got to write the book. I don't know when. I'm not pushing it. I'm not feeling it to write right now. But when that timing comes, I'm journaling and make sure I keep in some notes of it. But when that time comes, I need that book to explode and speak to souls. But right now, God is allowing me to use this mouthpiece of mine to talk and just let you all know every second counts. It's not over. It's a song. It's a gospel song. And I couldn't find the song because y'all know I love having music behind me because that's my motivation. But the song says it ain't over until God says it's over. For you, that's, for those of you that don't know what subconscious mean or subconscious mind, please look it up because I don't have time to explain it in this video. We on the 27th day of self-care. No, I didn't drop any quotes today. Your self-care is be unbreakable. Don't allow your fear to break you. You know what I'm saying? Because your fear will break you and have you sitting up there shattered in pieces, missing out on things and missing out on life and, li and living in the syndrome. Oh, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm good. I'm all right. All along, the one thing you ask God for to move in your life, that business opportunity or whatever the situation is, you're sitting on fear so hard that you're really not all right. You're missing it. You're missing it. And I can't get this through to your mind even more. God, I ask that you please deposit in their spirit so they can hear the Holy Spirit speak to them to let them know you're on the move. God is on the move. God is on the move. Don't miss it. Don't miss what could be the opportunity of a lifetime because of fear. Your subconscious mind. Tell that subconscious mind, you know something? I'm going to go and try this again. And it's going to work this time. It's going to work because I believe it. And because of the timing. And because I see God answering things that I asked him for. Oh, it's happening. Don't miss it, all right? I got to go. I got to go because I need to go live in my self-care. Live, live in my self-worth. Live in my self-love. All right? I'm going to drop this seatbelt back on. But I got to go. Love up on yourself. Every second is precious. Don't waste it entertaining fear. Okay? I got to go because I got to go meet some people and I got some things to do. I love y'all. If you don't believe I love you, know that God does. He cares about everything that's in you and every part, every move you make, every everybody you even spend your time with. God cares. Because he wants us to be able to just live and delighting and worshiping him and showing others that you can live at peace. And it's okay to try again. Get back up and try again. It's okay. But you got to release it. You got to release it. And then believe you me, whoever's on the receiving end, you can't be sitting around waiting all the time while they're still in their field. You can't do that to yourself. Because you'll find yourself neglecting what really, you know, opportunities and things that's waiting for you because you're waiting on them. Don't do that. Don't do that. Make moves. Make moves. Become from fear to fearless. Jump in my 30-minute consultation if you need to be able to, you know, talk and sign up for one of my programs. Okay? And just come on, y'all. Come on. I love y'all. Peace. I gotta go. Gotta go. <laughs>